in this lesson I'm going to show you a linear programming exam question. So we have to write down the three inequalities that define the region R. And the region R is shown on this graph here. It's inside this triangle, okay, separated by these three straight lines. So the first thing you should do is write down the three equations of those straight lines. So let's start by looking at this horizontal line. This line crosses the y-axis at positive 1.5. And all the way along this line, the y-value is always equal to 1.5. So the equation of that line would be y equals 1.5. Now let's look at this line here. So the y-intercept of this line is here. Okay, The straight line crosses the y-axis at positive 1. The gradient of this line is positive 2. Because when I move one unit to the right, okay, I move two units up. Okay, so that means the gradient would be positive 2. So if I write down the equation of that line, it would look like this. y equals 2x plus 1. The gradient is the number that goes in front of the x value. And the y-intercept, positive 1, goes at the end. Okay? Now for the final straight line here, this dashed line. Notice how it crosses the y-axis and the x-axis at the same number, 4. When that happens, there's a nice easy way of writing down the equation of a straight line. Write down x plus y and then put it equal to that number. Okay, so this time positive 4. If the line had crossed at positive 3 and positive 3, you would write down x plus y equals 3 instead. Okay, so now we've got our three equations. We need to replace the equal signs with the correct inequality. Okay, and inequalities, they look like this, okay? Could be greater than or equal to, greater than, less than or equal to, or less than, okay? Now, for the first one, this horizontal line here. Can you see the region R lies above that line? All the values of Y above that line are greater than 1.5. So the inequality for the first one would be Y is greater than 1.5. Remember, the inequality sign always opens at the larger number, okay? So y is greater than 1.5. We need to add something else in with this inequality. Notice how this is a solid line, okay? It's not dashed like this one. That means the region R could also lie on that solid line. So we need to add in the equal sign to the inequality, okay, to show that the y values could be equal to 1.5 or greater than. All right? On to the next one. So y equals 2x plus 1 is this straight line here. Firstly, let's just look at this in a logical way. The region R is below this line. Now, if you think about what happens to the coordinates, the values, as we look below that line, can you see the x values would be increasing and the y values would be decreasing? So that would mean this side of the equation, the y side, would be smaller than the 2x plus 1 side, okay? Because all the y values are smaller than the x values. Now, if that doesn't really make sense to you and you can't see that way logical way of thinking, I'm going to show you a different method to find out which way this sign goes more accurately, okay? Choose a point, any point, on that side of the line, so below the line, okay? Anything. It doesn't have to be in this region. It could be down here, any point you like. I'm going to choose this point here within the region, so the coordinates of that point are 1, 2, okay? So the x value is 1 and the y value is 2. Next, you need to substitute those values into your equation here. So you just change the y value to the number 2 and the x value to the number 1. Okay, but everything else stays the same in the equation. You've still got plus 1 at the end. Now work that out. 2 times 1 is 2. And then if you add 2 and 1 together, you get 3. Well, 3 is greater than 2, so the inequality sign would 
look like this. Remember, the inequality sign opens at the greater side. So 3 is greater than 2. So that's why the inequality sign is this way. And just like in the first one, it's another solid line. Okay? It's not dashed. So that means the region R could also lie upon that line. And so you need to include the equal sign in the inequality. All right, on to the final equation. So I'm going to use that method again, okay? I'm going to choose a point that lies below that dashed line, okay? Because the region R is below that dashed line. So I'm just going to choose the same point, one, two. And I'm going to substitute those values into this equation. So X is the value of one, and Y is two. And 1 plus 2 is 3. Well, 4 is greater than 3. So the inequality sign is that way round. Okay, 4 is greater than 3. So I need to replace the equal sign with that. And this time, you don't add the equal sign to the inequality. Because this time, the line is dashed. And that means the region R does not lie on that dashed line. Okay, so the region R is that line, that line, and within the triangle, but not the dashed line. Okay, so the last one is finished. It's x plus y is less than 4. Now, if we just look at that in a logical way, it kind of makes sense, okay? Because everything below that line, if you think about the coordinates below that line, they're getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So, if you add the coordinates x plus y together, they would be smaller than the value 4. I hope you found that linear programming question helpful. I will have some new questions coming soon, different types of linear programming exam questions, so keep a lookout for them.